I was out for a upgrade on augers. That'll beat my gas any day. All right, a little product review on this. First few holes, this thing absolute shreds. That is the Milwaukee Fuel. Um, it is a 2804 series brushless half inch drill chuck. I'll put the torque rating up, but this is what you want as far as Milwaukee goes. I also got the eight inch light flight from Strike Master. After doing all the research on the forums and watching you guys say what's the best setup, um, the Milwaukee Fuel is the way to go. I honestly was looking at DeWalt. I thought they had a better package deal. I went to Home Depot. I get a discount there that pushed it over the edge. Uh, and two 5 amp batteries. I don't see that thing slowing down for 100 holes out your day. It just mowed through 7 inches. Yeah, we'll get about 3 feet later in the year. We'll see how it does. The thing is super light. The problem with my 10 inch auger, and you gotta get warmed up, you have to have gas, it's heavy, and I mean, it's a complete workout to drill a bunch of holes with it. This thing is light and shreds. Uh, the other reason I went with this, the uh, Strike Master Light Flight uh, bit, uh, my, I carry Rapala brand, that includes Strike Master. Uh, my rep was one of the initial testers on it, and they all switched between the K drills, the Eskimo, I don't know the name of them, and they all took turns drilling. The Light Flight blew them away. Nothing wrong with those, I'm not dishing on them. But I get a discount on that, and I get a discount on the drill. The setup still costs about 400 bucks. Retail, you're probably looking at about 500 without any discounts. So it's not cheap, but I tell you what, that's a, it's a breath saver, and that's gonna make me more mobile this winter. So comment below if you have this, or if you have something different, uh, let me know the pros and cons of what you think. And you'll see that this winter, drilling and shredding holes. Go ahead and do another one. What do you think? I think that's pretty good. I think the uh, the high setting I had was way too fast. Oh yeah, it, it's just still pretty fast. Yeah. At least uh, for me, I'm used to that mud mixer, it's not quite as quick. Cool. More, more power, but not quite the speed of thing. Yeah, it's right, pretty good. I have a four stroke 10 inch auger, and that thing is a beast and a workout to get things going. So I switched to uh, electric. That thing only weighs, what, maybe 10 pounds? Yeah, it's pretty light. Sweet. your 10 inch electric auger what do you think of that that's sweet that yeah. shreds if you were literally only going for gills or something like this is perfect dude that's gonna be a, an awesome well eight inch hole you can get anything up yeah but that's gonna be awesome for uh, running gunning right there absolutely how light is that though that's pew 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 that's sick this feels right so again i said why do new power tools just feel good in your hands that just, handle is just it just feels it's right it's like do another one Not the straightest hole, but that works. The first time I did it, do this. We, sw I had my power. You want the power setting? Uh, the sun is terrible. Oh. On one, we had it on two to start. Now try. It's a mess. Oh, <laughs> it's way too fast. <laughs> way too fast. High speed, all drag. Yeah. And, okay, we're recording. We gotta no, get the initial. Initial drill to test this out, don't we? Yeah. Feel nothing. Am I doing that right? Try to spin it. Is it tighten up all the way? Alright, that was just a practice one. That was just a practice one, that's wet. Yeah, let's try that again. Get a 
a little bit. Get my feet wet for the day, aren't I? Try and tighten that up a little bit. That really kicks out, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it's pretty quick. Okay, we're figuring this out. The first couple of test drills with the uh, Milwaukee Fuel 2804 brushless drill. It's got the 5 amp battery on it and the Strike Master Light Flight. 